What's up guys, Brian here, and I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to fix some common errors that happen when you're trying to install themes and plugins in WordPress, such as a memory timeout or upload timeout or just the generic error that some hosting providers throw out there when you're trying to install a theme or a plugin and it just won't install for you. So this is pretty simple. This plugin is also going to have some other features for it, but what we're going to concentrate on here is fixing the errors installing themes and plugins. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and log into your WordPress dashboard. Of course, I'm already there, as you can see. And the first thing you're going to click on once you get into your WordPress dashboard is you're going to hover over plugins and you're going to click on add new. Now this is a very small plugin so you shouldn't have a problem installing it no matter what your hosting settings are. Alright so once we're in the add plugin section it is the plugins in the repository so we can go ahead and click on search plugins and I'm going to type in file manager. It helps when I spell it correctly alright so as you can see here there are a few plugins named file manager and I'm gonna use this third one over here it's called file manager advanced it seems to work the best some of the other ones have hung up on me um, and you can tell it's the right one down here where it says bimodal web if you're when you're doing the installation so I'll go ahead and click install now and it only takes a few moments for for it to install and the other thing you're going to need is uh, the information that I provide down in the description of this video. It's a simple copy and paste, so you don't have to worry about going and digging up the information or typing it all in. All right, so now that we see it's installed, I'll go ahead and click on Activate here. All right, so once you click on Activate, just like any other plugin, it drops you back over here into the plugin section, but you'll see a new a uh, little option over here for file manager and all you'll do is hover over this file manager and then click on this file manager and if you ever if you've ever used cpound or anything like that and had to go on go into the file manager this probably looks familiar um, basically what this lets you do is it lets you access a lot of the same files that you could access in any other file manager or via FTP. It lets you access that within the WordPress dashboard. It makes it simpler, uh, makes it easier for other people who don't want to mess around in their control panel and things like that. So um, the file we're looking for here is called .htaccess. If you don't see a file named .htaccess, uh, you can create a file here. You would click on this one here where it says new text file and then you would just name that file dot ht access but I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and when you right click on the, a file in this file manager it brings up this nice little menu here and we're gonna go ahead and click on edit file alright so I have some other plugins that use the ht access file and I've edited them already so you'll see some of that. What you want to do is go ahead and scroll on down here to the bottom of the HT access file and I usually hit enter twice just to give me a little bit of space to work with and I'll go ahead and bring up my notepad that has the information in there and then I'm just gonna copy this again this is gonna be in the video description you so you'll be able to copy it from there I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go ahead and click copy there and then I would just paste it I right clicked again and paste it down into the bottom there and what this does is it tells your server that you want to increase the upload max file size or set the max file size at right around a gigabyte so that's a thousand megabytes uh, it has the post max size is 2000 megabytes the memory limit as 3000 megabytes and then the execution time is 180 seconds and the max input time as 180 seconds as well uh, basically what's going on here is usually plugins and themes that don't want to install properly or that don't install properly it's because your uh, your server settings your hosting settings aren't configured properly or they are they're just set very low so you can go ahead and come here and make these changes so I've already done these these changes elsewhere on my server so I won't need to save this file but this 
uh, is almost all you need to do. You'll actually need to click on Save and Close. I'm going to click on Cancel, and it's going to tell me that it's been modified. It would give me another option to Save and Close, Save As, or just Close. I'm going to click Close, so you would have clicked on Save and Close, and that will go ahead and modify the HT Access on your server, and it's just going to allow your server to do basically more things. It's going to allow you to go ahead and, and install the plugins, install the themes that are giving you the errors, and also some uh, themes that have built-in um, editors, like what you see is what you get editors, like the Divi theme and stuff like that. Their front-end editors might give you these errors too, so that can help fix that as well. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to have the information that I have here. It's going to be in the description of the video. I'm also going to have a link to a hosting provider that I use. And uh, there, I'm, there's no discount. It's just a link to it. Now, this is an affiliate link, though, so I will get a little bit back. It won't cost you any more, though. Uh, this is a, a hosting service that I've, I've used pretty often. Uh, they allow you to have unlimited sites on a $5 per month plan. You don't have to do any of the prepay or anything like that. And you get free SSL certificates on all of the sites automatically when you uh, go ahead and um, create a new site with them as well. The very first site, you will have to go in and um, create the account. And then you just contact their support one time and tell them that you want SSLs on all future sites and that's all you need to do you just do that once and I'll also give a uh, I also have an affiliate link to the Divi theme if you want to check that out but if you don't want to check those out you don't have to uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if for whatever reason you don't like it you can leave any questions for me in the comments I'll answer those if I know of any answers uh, to the questions that you happen to ask. You can also suggest any future videos that I make in the comments if you'd like to see some of those. I'll see if I can make uh, any other videos for you. I'll probably try to start making some videos related to WordPress since I use it quite often. And if you want to, go ahead and, of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications as well, and you'll see future updates. Once again, thanks for watching the channel. This is Brian with No Interesting.